As a lot of words are losing their meaning, even words like liberal are losing their meaning because of these regressives. And we have words like racism, sexism, misogyny that have gotten ruined as well. Um, and feminism has certainly gotten ruined by these crazies. There are people out there who display exactly why many people feel that something like feminism is still necessary. Let me show you. Let's get to one thing here. Amy Schumer released a sketch on Comedy Central. Did I already answer that? I don't think she's funny now. On yeah, air. I don't know. Sometimes that. it's tough to know what's on air and what's off air. Amy Schumer and I have had our run-ins, and I, I respect immensely what she has accomplished as a stand-up comedian. I have to. But she's crossing over into territory. I mean, you don't want to perpetuate rape culture at all. Let's roll the clip of the, of the, of the sketch. I did have the actual clip in my video, but then this happened. So I guess Crowder has the rights to play stuff from Viacom, but I don't. So um, you'll have to watch his video to get the clip in question. The argument here, if you watch the whole sketches from Amy Schumer, is Congress being in your OBGYN, right? That they, ha they have their hands over women's bodies. The message is pretty clear, right? You saw that, not gay, Jared? I did. The message is pretty clear, and it's the truth. This is one of the few areas that when feminists talk about things that they have some validity. I did, I the, did. The message is a bunch of men, privileged men, getting to decide your health care. She never talked about privilege or any of that. She's just showing that Republicans seem to want to get into re reproductive rights of women. Why would it be that men in Congress get to determine what kind of birth control or what kind of health care services you get. Maybe because they actually represent actual misogyny? Just, just maybe? Could it possibly be because of social justice warrior wenches like you and Sandra Fluke and Lena Dunham demanded through Congress and stood before the House and grandstanded and filibustered? Obviously, that didn't really happen, but they grandstanded. They went forward demanding free birth control. And because you're an ignorant fuckwad, you don't seem to realize that birth control pills do more than just birth control. If you bled through your orifices uh, once a month, uh, you would probably be concerned about this too. But instead, you think that, you know, insurance should pay for your erectile dysfunction stuff. They, they should pay for your Cialis and your Viagra and that sort of thing. And that's okay. Um, as, as one of your uh, commenters tried to say, oh, well, well, a, a period is not a medical condition, but, but erectile dysfunction is. That's the kind of mentality we're dealing with here. Demanding that the taxpayer subsidize it. Guess what? When you demand that I pay for your birth control, you've now granted that authority to the government. Again, uh, Viagra, Cialis. I'm paying for birth control with my insurance because it's mandated. I'll never use birth control. I don't even use condoms. I've never used condoms. Condoms are for losers. L wow. Listen, if you use condoms, I have no respect for you. I bet you wouldn't say that to Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, you know, Milo, the person that you give support to as long as he is perpetuating your values. You are a man who has no self-respect. You take your chances and you roll the dice as it goes with Amy Schumer. But then you have a problem with guys being forced to pay child support for children they didn't have to create. Obviously, I'm married, so I'm not taking any chances. Oh, because getting married makes all the difference. You may convince some of the gender queers in your pot-smoking drum circle. Versus your sorry drunk ass. But none of us are buying it, that you required so much birth control that you need me to assist in paying for your birth control. Well, if that's the case, then people should be able to say the same thing about your Viagra and your Cialis. And some of them, listen, you may even try and fake them out and go Daniel Day-Lewis and Method Act with it. You may even go to the store and buy the birth control to try and convince people. We know you're just stockpiling it in your garage like an episode of Preppers, or maybe you're popping them like M&Ms at the dinner table, and really you're, ah, yum, 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 birth control, but you're stuffing it in a napkin like broccoli and feeding it to the dog, and they're wondering why Fluffy's lactating. Oh, that's so funny. <sighs>
We don't want our hands in your hoo-ha. We don't want to have to pay for your birth control. We don't want to have anything to do with your reproductive rights. All we want is for you to pay for it on your own. Again, fine. Then the same thing with your Viagra and Cialis. You know, it's pretty much a guarantee that if guys had birth control pills available for them, that a lot of you conservative fuckwads would be demanding that insurance pay for those. But because this is women, then, you know, oh, they shouldn't have it. Because so many of you are a bunch of fucktard misogynists. You actually represent misogyny. And when Sander Fluke refer, uh, when Rush Limbaugh referred to Sander Fluke as a slut, everyone got mad. Listen, if you were having so much sex that you can't afford a 25 cent rubber at a truck stop, I thought you were against condoms. If the word slut doesn't apply to you, it might as well be wiped from the history of the dictionary. Well, if it only applies to women and doesn't apply to men, then maybe it should be wiped from the dictionary. Since shitheads like you only use it against women. Because it was designed for sluts like Sandra Fluke and Amy Schumer and Lena Dunham. Is he slut shaming? Send your letters to our affiliates. I don't care. I know our affiliates support us. If they drop us, I don't care. We'll take this online. Because when guys have a lot of sex, well, they're studs. And using condoms, well, you don't have any respect for those that use condoms. You are an unbelievable, reprehensible, slutty role model. By the way, Amy Schumer, you're a fat slutty role model. Okay, well, I know she's not claiming to be a role model. But uh, l let's just be honest here. She got all mad when, that, when was it L? Something referred to her as plus size. Her whole, th you, sh you can't have it both ways. You can't demand that someone funds your personal sexual escapades and then go, oh my God, why should guys have, why should guys have a say in my reproductive rights? Why? Because you demanded it. I I'm out. Milo Yiannopoulos, how could you possibly associate yourself with this fuckwad? How? Oh, it's okay because he's against SJWs. So nothing else matters? And nothing else matters.